Well, good Friday afternoon to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody's having a show sure enough good Friday, and I hope y'all looking forward to the weekend. But I'm here to tell you, it's been raining in East Central Mississippi. Bunches of it. I'm growing a bunch of mud over here. But what I want to make mention of, if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her in the sticks, thank y'all for coming back. But what I wanted to share with you and y'all today is I had a few folk ask me about my water catchment system. Dan, is it worth it? Was it worth it? What would you do different? So give me a second and then we finna talk about that. <laughs> Well, what I'm going to say is I missed y'all on Thursday. I had uh, a really large departmental meeting that was mandatory that I had to attend Thursday after work. And I also had another important meeting that I had to go to. I'm going to show you a picture of that. Not going to get into it, but uh, you and, when you and y'all see the picture, maybe y'all figure it out. Definitely uh, a milestone in my life. Really proud of it. And I'm just proud of, of what uh, this organization does. All right, y'all, let's get on with it. Looks like it's finna rain. It is showing off cloudy over here. And yes, that's thunder you hear in the background. But let me, let me show you what I'm working with. Here is my IBC water catchment system. This system has been in place probably for about maybe eight years now. And over there, I have some 55 gallon drums set up as a catchment system as well. Have gutters on my shack. These tanks are being filled from uh, the lean-to on my shop. This is about a 50 foot span. I don't remember how long it is. I think it's uh, 27 feet this way and about 50 that way. So this gutter, this gutter system is catching all the rainwater and actually putting it into these IBCs right here. But what I failed to mention in uh, the last uh, few videos that I did on the water catchment system that I use over here at my home, the sticks to water my raised beds is the piping and how I transfer the water. Everything is piped in two inch uh, schedule 40 PVC, two inch PVC coming out of the tanks. And this is a a transfer pump that I actually got Mr. B, Mr. CB over at CB's greenhouse and garden. He sent this to me several years ago and Mr. CB is still rocking on and ginning. And I have a split here and I have a, a just a hose here for this side of the 40 and a hose going that way for that side of the 40. But what would you do different Dan? I would probably pipe these tanks in just a little bit differently. It's kind of hard to actually um, look into these pipes and, ex and inspect them the way that they are set up. On water catchment systems, your overflow should be, oh, these tanks are full too. The overflow should be the same diameter as the pipe that you're running. So I should have a two inch overflow here, technically. That's debatable, but it overflows right here. And I can see, I don't know if you can see it dripping out, but this is my overflow. What I'd like to do is get another tank, another IBC set, IBC set up in this area to catch that overflow, but it is what it is, and I'm just working with what I got. I did, however, go from two inch to three quarter with the shutoff. I might do that different as well, but it works. Now, the one, the one boo-boo that I did on uh, this catchment system is I didn't think it through. I was actually thinking that I could have, I could use head pressure to actually run this water uh, to my, my raised beds. I was wrong about that because I needed a transfer pump or just a pump to get the water out of the tanks. What I will do next time is instead of having these IBCs set side by side, I will stack them one on top of the other. And that should give me plenty of head pressure to run these, run the water out of these hoses. These are 50 foot hoses. This hose right here waters this side of the 40. And that hose, that 50 foot hose there will water all of my 16 foot, well, my 16 foot raised beds down yonder ways. Is, was it a mistake? No, it's working. Um, I just have to use a pump to get the water out. 
If I stack these IBCs, my head pressure will probably be better. The higher you can get these IBCs, the better head pressure you're gonna get, from what I understand. This system over here, it runs flawless. Uh, it's at a good height where I could actually clean out those elbows and I can actually clean out the downspouts, the flexible downspout that actually goes into the first flush system. That's at a good height. I could actually work with that. This system here, everything's uh, high. So I got to get a ladder out to do my inspections and my cleaning, but no big deal. One thing on these first flushes, especially if you know that you're going to have a rainstorm, is you have to purge these, this first flush. And when I say purge, I mean drain the water out of the first flush. There we go. We want to get rid of all of this uh, 10, maybe five or 10 gallons of water. We want to get rid of all of that water and allow the first flush to work where the next five or six, 10 gallons fills up this first flush. It'll get rid of all of the debris, not all of it, but some of it. So we're going to purge it. Sure, somebody's going to ask, Dan, why don't you collect that first flush water? Yes, I'm actually thinking on that. I'm trying to devise uh, some type of valve uh, that I could drill into this cap right here with a shut off and I could actually turn the valve and maybe water some of this stuff with that first flush water. So, hey, it is what it is and that's what I'm working with right now. On the other side of the 40, on these valves, I could independently open each one of them and what I do is I normally shut off the water when I'm not using it but you can actually, before I start this pump, I actually turn this guy and charge up this pump and then it works. Walk over to the other side of the 40. Here's the end of my other 50 foot hose and this hose will water my two sides of my 16 foot raised beds. I hope that uh, that answers those questions that folks have asked me. My plans in the future I'm going to replace all of this gutter on the front of my shop. And this is about a 45, maybe 40, 45 foot run from here to here. And my intentions are to set down IBCs maybe right here and run my downspout into the IBCs. That's my, that's my, one of my other goals. So what I can do is I'll have, uh, let's say 500 gallons of water on this side of the shop to water the 16 foot raised beds. And the other two IBCs will water the other side of the fold. And that's all my other raised beds. So that's, that's a couple of my goals. So again, I hope uh, that answers the questions that you and y'all had asked me as far as the IBCs. I'm really going through it rather quickly because it looks like it's finna come a flood over here. But uh, if anybody else has any more questions about the water catchment system that I use over here, drop something down in the comments. We'll see if we can get them answered. Oh, here comes the rain right now. So y'all, I hope everybody is having a sure enough good Friday and I hope y'all have a good safe weekend. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up, they help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home of Six channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over and give old Dan a look because I'm always doing stuff. Really? With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan, referee sure enough, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You get your shine on. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.